One plus six versus S9 plus speed test coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology. One plus six versus Galaxy S9 plus speed test. This was actually your most second most requested video when I did the community poll on the one plus six was the S9 plus. So let's go ahead and begin with a boot up test in three, two, one, and see which one can get there first. Now, both of these are the Snapdragon 845 series devices. I have the eight gigabyte of RAM version of the one plus six. So that's a little bit more than the six gig of RAM version of the S9 plus. Plus. Now, I think six gigs of RAM is basically where it's enough for an Android phone, but you know, the eight gig of RAM on the OnePlus 6 is more, so let's see if it does whoop Samsung on the RAM management, but it does win there for the boot up test. So one nil to the Galaxy S9 Plus for the OnePlus 6. Okay guys, so we're here at the lock screen. I just wanna see which one does respond to that power button a little bit faster, three, two, one. And you can see that's the OnePlus 6, one, two, three and the OnePlus 6 a little bit faster. Now, what about the fingerprint unlocked? You can see they're both basically in the same location for both devices, three, two, and one. And that's the OnePlus 6, one more time, three, two, one. And that's the OnePlus 6. So the OnePlus 6, just a super fast fingerprint scanner. It seems to be just a little bit faster than the S9 Plus basically every time. You could see right there, I just keep doing it. S9 Plus just a little bit slower there on that fingerprint, but by no means is it a slow fingerprint. It's still faster than what I've seen on the iPhone's fingerprint, but it's not as fast as the OnePlus 6's fingerprint scanner. Okay, so let's test that facial unlock time to see which one is a little bit quicker. Beginning with the OnePlus 6, you can see that it basically instantly responds. It's a little bit hard to show here on camera, but it's basically instant here for the OnePlus 6. Then we're gonna go on to the S9 Plus now. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the facial unlock time now for the S9 Plus, as you can see, three, two, one. And you can see it's not bad, three, two, one. And there you go. So it's a little bit slower and I find that the OnePlus 6 is just a little bit more responsive in different lighting conditions. The S9 Plus seems to choke up a little bit more when you're not in a bright light situation as I am in now. So just quickly confirming the software, Oxygen OS 5.1.5, eight gigs of RAM, 128 gig of storage and 8.1.0 Oreo. Confirming the software here, we do have the 8.0 Android version and we do have Samsung Experience version 9.0 for the Galaxy S9 Plus. This is the S D845 version, six gigs of RAM. All right guys, so we have arrived at the application portion of the speed test. We're gonna close all apps out so you can see everything is now closed, not just turned off for the OnePlus 6. Let's go ahead and test the speed between these two to see in the applications in the real world, which one is quicker or if there's any speed differences at all. Let's go into calendar. That's the S9 Plus clock. That's about the same calculator. OnePlus 6 slightly settings. OnePlus 6 for sure, Instagram. Instagram opens first for the OnePlus 6 slightly, going into the picture profile, slightly to the OnePlus 6 in the likes, about the same, scrolling, very similar, if not identical on a day-to-day. -day. Twitter, you can see Twitter is open first. It looked about even actually, I didn't see that one. I might've been slightly off though. Uh, let's go into the Snapchat, and these are so close, I'm gonna have to have you guys tell me some of the ones that were right or wrong here, but that one is, the OnePlus 6, let's go into WhatsApp. And you can see it looked like the OnePlus 6 again. YouTube, and you can see YouTube is first on the left. Let's go into Netflix. Netflix is first again on the left. Nice stuff for the OnePlus 6, and it's gonna save you two, 300 bucks. Let's go into Amazon. But you don't get the better camera, you don't get the better you know, wireless charging as you get on the S9 Plus, but the OnePlus 6 won there again on Amazon, but you do get great performance, eBay eBay is first on the right, having a little bit of load issues here for the OnePlus 6, and looks like the OnePlus 6 now loads. So the Galaxy S9 Plus takes eBay. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. Here goes the gaming, and you could see OnePlus 6 ahead, and then the Galaxy S9 Plus. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2, 3, 2, 1, and you could see Dead Trigger 2 loads first on the left, then the Galaxy S9 Plus. Let's hit play. See which one can actually get into those graphics first. This is so close. It's like you're literally basically buying the same phone when it comes to performance, but that was the OnePlus 6 again. And actual gameplay graphics are about the same on both. Let's go into the PUBG Mobile. Now this game requires a little bit more load time and a little bit more power to run it. You know, you're playing against other live players on here. 
and uh looks like they're both going to take a second so let's be patient it looks like the galaxy s9 plus has a slight jump over the one plus six and now it looks like the one plus six is downloading a little bit faster galaxy s9 plus catching up but the one plus six ahead so far okay okay one plus i see what you're working with with the games doing very good here and you're ready to get into this match first for the one plus six now i'm not gonna actually play this match live on video should we play the match live on video should we do that we're not gonna do it today but it looks like the galaxy s9 plus is just stalling behind here and now we're about to get in and now it's loading again so now so way behind on this one now this might be wi-fi dependent i'm not sure but that was pretty far behind for the galaxy s9 plus slither they are connected to the same wi-fi network however so no issues there play against ai about the same in these casual games so i think really what's going to happen in the gaming is they're going to trade blows in certain games the s9 plus is going to load it faster certain games the one plus six let's go into video shop you could see one plus six loads that first let's go into geekbench and you could see one plus six slightly and speed test and one plus six slightly again i think it's mostly due to the animation although samsung experience has gotten way better i'm very impressed with the improvement in performance on the s9 plus the animation is just slightly slicker slightly faster still for one plus let's go into chrome you could see chrome open first on the left again so overall in the speed test you've seen basically equal performance with milliseconds of a difference in animation speed for the one plus six okay so here's the fun part multitasking let's see if we get any reloads on the one plus six we haven't seen them in the in the past videos that i've been doing against the iphones so i don't expect it here at all again for the one plus six and you can see jetpack now on the games it's a little bit of a hang just because games require a lot of power but loading all these apps eight gigs of ram no issues here for the one plus six very fast indeed so you're really gonna love the performance here every day all day on that one plus six how does that galaxy s9 plus do six gigs of ram will it reload anything let's go into chrome nothing speed test nothing geekbench nothing video shop nothing slither nothing let's go into pubg mobile nothing let's go into dead trigger we're still rocking let's go into jetpack a little bit of a hang here on jetpack Ooh, not looking good what's going on samsung oh that was not good i'm gonna leave this on video i'm gonna leave this crash here on video to showcase to you okay the galaxy s9 you're seeing this live i might have to cut this scene it is glitching out it's glitching out like crazy man this is gonna really make people think that i'm really trying to bash samsung here but what do you want me to do do you see this right here do you see this live on camera i'm cutting i'll be right back in a second okay so we're back in i had to lock the screen and turn it back on let's see what happened here with that application yes it did reload but it also spazzed out now this could be a potential issue with the jetpack joyride game but that was not a good look considering that the oneplus has been loading that game back on multitasking on my past three videos this has never really happened on any video before so i'm not gonna say that the samsung galaxy is bad because of this that just was unfortunate that it happened on the speed test ebay still open amazon still open netflix still open youtube whatsapp snapchat let's go to twitter twitter's still open instagram then we have settings calculator clock calendar so you've seen the galaxy held everything something just up with that app what do you think that was do you think that the samsung maybe got overworked do you think that that was an optimization issue with the game or do you just think it was just a random ironic thing and it just won't happen again what do you think comment your thoughts down below on that spaz on the jetpack joyride okay guys so we're in video shop i did shoot a 45 second clip and we're gonna go ahead and save this to the gallery in the high settings to see which one is quicker and you see they're both flying because it's a smaller video app. But man, is this close? Who is really going to finish this one first? Just like in the speed test, almost identical. Whoa, that's the one plus six slightly. So very close, almost identical video rendering performance here. So this is, again, probably mostly due to a similar setup in the processor and RAM. All right, guys, so final scores are in. Single cores are pretty identical. A 2429 on the OnePlus, 2398 on s9 plus multi-core 8868 
on the OnePlus 6, 77, 29 on the Multi for the S9 Plus. You know, we know about what OnePlus did in the past with the Geekbench scores, so I'm not sure if everybody trusts these scores here, but if you're gonna take these for what they are, the OnePlus 6 is the winner for the Geekbench. Okay, so we're done here. OnePlus 6 versus Galaxy S9 Plus. Which one to go with? I will do a full comparison on these, but based on the performance, which this video is about speed test, if you just want raw performance, the OnePlus 6 offers more RAM, same processor for less money. It's the better performance package you've seen in most of the applications. The animations were faster. It feels like a faster phone than the Galaxy S9 Plus, but the Galaxy S9 Plus is absolutely no slouch. It's the fastest Samsung ever, and it's much better optimized than the prior Samsung devices before it. And it's almost identical in performance to a OnePlus. It's only milliseconds difference. That glitch that happened with the game, I don't know what that was, but I wouldn't take it too to heart because every phone once in a while glitches out and I don't care which device you have, technology is not perfect. Anyway, what are your thoughts? Comment them down below in the comment section of this video. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Nick here helping you to master your technology and if you have any other suggestions of videos you wanna see with OnePlus 6, comment those down below as well. I'll catch you on the next episode. Be sure to be well, enjoy the rest of your day and peace.